Here we go, Pimp My Rig, episode three. I'm super excited for this one because unlike the other two clients that we've had so far in the series, this is an extremely high-end system that needs virtually zero performance upgrades, but could use all the help it can get in the aesthetics department. The H500i from NZXT carries a small footprint without compromising on features, like flexible hardware configurations, a removable radiator bracket for easy installation, and stellar cable management for a tidier system. Game in style with a tempered glass side panel, integrated RGB lighting, and a built-in cam-powered smart device to manage your lighting and fans. Do more with less in the H500i. Click the link below to learn more. This is Adam's gaming PC, and it's the first rig he's ever assembled, so I will commend him on his part selection. We've got an incredible lineup of hardware here, including an Intel Core i7-6700K on top of an MSI Z170A M7 gaming motherboard, 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 at 3200 speed, an MSI GeForce RTX 2080 Ti Gaming X Trio, and a handful of other premium components, including a fractal design to find our 5 chassis that make this a dream dream build for any gamer. But what I love most about this rig and how it pertains to this series is that it shows that you can spend some serious coin and drop in some really high-end hardware into your system and still not turn any heads. You know, if I'm being honest, this system looks about as plain as a saltine cracker. There's no cosmetic flair, no style of any kind to really tell people that this is a special build. So that's what I want to do today is make this system look as good as it performs. And I think we can do that with just a couple simple changes. But for now, let's talk some more shit on Adam's build. This is fun. Uh, for starters, we've got this Noctua cooler. I believe it's an NHU14S with mismatched fans. I mean, the brown is already ugly enough, Adam. You had to, you had to throw the black one on there to contrast even more horrifically with the brown one. Like, what, what's going on? Might as well swap out that nasty exhaust fan, too. They perform great, don't get me wrong, everyone knows it, but they're just hideous, especially if you're not gonna own that color scheme of poop. That's all I see with this, poop. So this whole area obviously needs work. You've got some red accents on your Z170 board back there that you can't really see anyway because they're being covered up by this massive card and the, the cooler is pretty massive too when you have both of those fans on there. You've got a few red accents on your graphics card and on this GPU bracket that's not even touching your GPU. It's just making your card look thicker. What are you, are you compensating for something, Adam? I say we just get rid of the red and throw some RGB in here. It doesn't seem like you've really owned the red here anyway. There are no uh, notable red accents elsewhere in the system. It just seems kind of like an afterthought. You've got this hideous sticker on the power supply. Why, why do you guys keep the stickers, the, the rail specs on here? It makes me, makes me mad. It just, I'm pissed, I'm pissed off. I'd comment on the cable management if there was any. Look at all these loose cables. You got a two pin, another eight pin PCI just, just hanging out. I don't know what kind of pets or animals you have at home, but I know you at least have a bird because there's a crow's nest right above your freaking hard drive cage. Some of that, Adam. Oh, so you got another nest by your power supply. Hey, it's a duplex. All right, all right. I'll, I'll give you a break for now, Adam. Lucky for you, there's still hope. We can still turn this ship around, all right? So I think the first thing we wanna do here is take care of the color situation. We really need to get rid of these red accents on the graphics card and the motherboard heat sinks so we can actually prep the system for some serious RGB action. So let's get her done. Adam, prepare to have your PC pimped. So our paint job for this project is pretty much out of the way now. The graphics card is still drying off, so you'll get a, a closer look at that later. And we blacked out the motherboard as best we could. Uh, you can see we've still got some, uh, we got a red dragon, uh, the MSI dragon, and some thin lines on the chipset heatsink that were just too difficult to mask off, and we didn't want to risk uh, messing anything up. So we're leaving them there. Plus, once the graphics card's installed, it's going to be covering that up completely, more or less. And this is Adam's not to a cooler. Like I said before, it's a great unit. It's just an eyesore, so we want to change that. But at the same time, we don't want to sacrifice not to a 
levels of performance. So what I have here is a Noctua NH-D15S, a great cooler. It's kind of the inverse of this one in terms of design, where instead of having a single heatsink tower and a fan on either side, it has dual heatsink towers and a single fan in between them. The problem is, is that this cooler is just as hideous out of the box as this one. Fortunately, we have some Chromax fans and accessories to help us along there. So Chromax, for those of you who don't know, is the best thing to have ever possibly happened to Noctua when it comes to aesthetics. It's basically their line of fans and accessories that complement their existing coolers uh, to take them from super ugly to super attractive, uh, is more or less the high level explanation. So we have some uh, cover plates for our heat sinks that don't impede performance whatsoever, along with an NF-A15HS, which is gonna be the fan that we put in between those heat sinks, and an NF-A14 which is going to replace the existing rear exhaust fan. Both of the fans are fully blacked out and come included with a bunch of rubber corners in various colors so you can kind of uh, customize it to your liking there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna populate the board with the CPU and memory and then we're gonna mount this cooling solution and see how it looks before we move on to the next step. So let's get to it. Okay, you guys can see by now that I've decided to add some white accents into Adam's build for a couple reasons. One, it adds a, a bit of a dynamic look to the system overall. Instead of just one color, there's more you can do the more colors you add. Obviously, we don't want to go crazy, but I think a nice two-tone black and white is pretty classic. And also, white just reflects lighting a lot better. It reflects RGB a lot better than just straight black does. And then we've got uh, his power supply, the 850G3. So we're actually going to remove that sticker that I mentioned before with a little heat gun. This is a heat gun, not, not an air cooling fan like some people on this channel think. Uh, and then the other thing that we want to do here is uh, his SSD is mounted in a large drive cage. I feel like it's overkill to have that huge cage just for a two and a half inch drive. So I'm gonna remove that cage, especially they look kind of weird here in 2018 when most drive cages are now underneath a power supply completely out of sight. So I'm gonna get rid of that and instead mount his two and a half inch drive uh, against the back side panel, his right side panel. You can see I've also got some black and white sleeved cables from Cable Mod for our SSD. And what's even more exciting to top this all off is that when Adam handed off his system to me, he also brought along with him two tempered glass side panel upgrades for the Define R5. It's just an add-on item that you can purchase separately. And again, guys, I'll drop links to all this stuff in the description so you don't have to hunt for it. But what's exciting about the right panel now being made of glass is that it's gonna give a floating effect to our SSD once it's mounted there, which I think will look pretty cool, assuming I don't mess it up. We are fast approaching the finish line, people. Just a few more things and we're good to go. We've got our cable mod wide beam LED strip. Uh, this is actually an RGB kit, I should say, with a controller and all that. It's, it's super fun. We also have some cable mod cables. These are not extensions. These are the Pro Series full length cables specifically for the EVGA 850G3. Because we don't have a power supply shroud, I wanted to go with full length cables just so we get it all nice and clean the whole way through. I'm also throwing in a couple wide expansion slots. This is just a quick and easy way to give us a more cohesive look as these will match nicely and sort of complement the other white accents in the build. And finally, you guys will be able to take a look at the GPU in its final form. We didn't really do much, just spray painted those red accents in white, but sometimes a little can go a long way. So we'll just have to see how it turned out in a moment. But apart from that, guys, I can't wait to see this build finished. I know Adam must be dying to see it. So without further ado, let's get her done.
Look at my hair stuck in that fan. That was, that was scary. Uh, all right, so here it is. Looks pretty good. Man, damn, it turned out so well. Okay, there was one thing, one thing that I could change. Uh, it was actually sort of an oversight on my end. The cable mod SATA power cable that I got for the SSD is too short. And so originally, I don't know if you could tell in the B-roll, but I had that SSD mounted quite a bit higher, but I had to bring it down because the cable just wouldn't reach. So I would prefer it a little bit higher. I think it fills up some of that empty space up there, but uh, Adam might not mind it. Of course, he could always swap it out down the line if he so chooses. Apart from that though, Chromax knocked to a cooler, just a, uh, I, think, I think this table just lifted an inch or two. And then these three cables coming from the video card, oh my gosh, it just screamed power. I'm, I'm getting fired up. I'm getting so fired up, I gotta calm down. I really love this thing, but of course, Adam's response is really the one that matters here. So why don't we go ahead and see what he thinks of his new pimped out PC. All right, Adam. Thanks for being here. I'm just actually kind of curious. Was it hard not having your system for like a week or two? I still have my old gaming laptops from years ago. So I had right. one from 2013. Just, I'm like, oh. uh, it's like a 14 or 15 inch screen. Oh, oh well, okay. I'm, I apologize for that. I, I really do. I'm sure that's tough. Uh, but hopefully it was worth the wait. I think so. Do you have any expectations right off the bat? Better cable management. I'm horrible at cable management. <laughs> okay. I, think, I think that was a given. I think anyone could have guessed that. Now you actually have BitLocker on here, right? So if I don't type in a password within like a minute or so, the system will shut itself off, right? Yeah. So at some point I'm gonna turn it on, but it might turn off midway through the shot, just so you guys at home know that I didn't break his computer. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, here it is. New Woo! system. So wow. yeah. That looks really nice. It's different. It's yeah, different than it was. Totally different. It's all the cables. But we didn't change a whole lot, to be honest. All the core components are the same. We did a paint job on the board to sort of black out the, the red accents. Obviously sticking RGB in there definitely benefits from, from having a more neutral tone. This is actually, you can see an upgraded cooler, but yeah. still Noctua, we just kind of made it pretty with uh, with the Chromax set. Thank you again for bringing in those those glass panels. That, that saved me some, some work, definitely. Uh, but I think it looks really good with the, with the SSD float in there. Thoughts? Concerns? <laughs> No, it looks, Questions. it looks amazing. It's better than anything I would have considered doing. Well, you said this was your first build, right? It's still my first build. I'm still yeah. It. Yeah, awesome. And you honestly did a pretty good job for your first build. I will say, though, when you watch this video back, I did rip on you. Please. And please. the system. I told you to do it. But but it was all in good fun. It was just for the video. You did an excellent job. I hope you enjoy your new, your new system. Sweet. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate it, Kyle. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Adam, for being here. If you guys like the video, toss a like on it, get subscribed and all that stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.